do 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 even even style Are you kidding? Do, 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 do. Okay. So let's, let's try this again. Let's go to uh, here. We should be able to get titanium vambraces from the apes here. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. No, not these cheeseburger fans. Yeah, these dudes. Super apes. So you can teach me more about cooking. Easy peasy. <laughs> there we go. We got one. We got it finally, you stupid son of a bitch. From heaven. You wanna go here. I mean they they weren't dropping them before. Theater style. Flown with the wind to get here faster. Hey, Doc. Is this enough Zugal parts for you? Yes. With this much, cultivation shouldn't be a problem. Impressive as usual, Alfin. I hope your herb garden can grow well now. It definitely will, thanks to you. Speaking of which, I'm curious. There are Renin machines that treat sickness now. Why focus on growing medicinal herbs? I hear you. And that technology is definitely impressive. But machines break, don't they? You can rely on them sometimes, but not always. That's when herbs come in to save the day. True. Sure. That's true. Healing arts are useful as well, but... Sometimes you just need medicine. The way I see it, the most important thing is knowledge. Machines break and medicine runs out. But with the right knowledge, you can repair a machine or make more medicine. Knowledge never goes bad. It's true. You never cease to amaze, Doc. Always thinking one step ahead. Flattery will get you nowhere, Alfin. My knowledge is still quite limited. I'd like to expand what I know about herbs. It'd help to find a book or meet someone who knows more than I do. Book style. Then we'll try to find that for you. Maybe there's a real herb master somewhere out there. I'd really appreciate that. If I were younger, I'd go searching myself. No need for that, Doc. Let us do the footwork. You just wait here. <laughs> hmm. Who might be an expert on medicinal herbs? I might know someone who's familiar with books on them. Remember? In the Palace in Vicent. Oh, yeah! Tigrina, the librarian! Yeah. <laughs> you remember her name, huh? Interesting. Uh, hey, what's with the stink eye? <laughs> I can't do anything to get the mass off those people they were forced on. But once they're off, I'm sure they'll be hungry. I'll make a bunch of donuts to feed them. Donuts that make you go nuts! Everyone stay... Everyone stay inside until we know what exactly is happening. I'm not afraid of those masks. I'm sure the Blazing Sword will take care of them. Stop fooling around. Just go inside. 
tries to leave map. Stop screwing around. Hey, I heard something from my dad. He said bad kids get taken by those masked monsters. What happens to them? They get brainwashed into being good kids. Brainwashed? Does that mean I won't be myself anymore? ruh -row. I jumped into the chandelier. Library style. Let's try not to get thrown out. That would not be a good thing, even a little bit. I've heard that masked people in Niaz and Vicin are acting strange. I'm worried about you. If something like that happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Wow, you're very kind. I appreciate the concern. But you shouldn't say things so casually. A girl might get the wrong idea, you know. <sighs> I, I wish you would, though. Uh-huh. Look, the owl feathers on this book are so soft. Come on, touch it. <laughs> I'm so happy there's a book I can enjoy with my friends. Friend style. Hey. To Greener, right? Can we talk for a minute? <laughs> What's this? Me? And you? Is this your way of asking me out on a date? <laughs> what? No, no. That's not what I meant at all. We're just here for books. Do you have any about medicinal herbs? How's this? Of course. What kind of medicinal herbs? Aphrodisiacs, perhaps? Uh, no. There's someone in Ulzebek trying to cultivate herbs to help other people. <laughs> Aw, well, well, what a wonderful person. In that case, I think this book on medicinal herbs would be helpful. Huh? That sure was fast. I'm a librarian. I know every book here by heart. The, this one's written by an author who wanted to help people heal. I bet just reading it would clear your skin right up. Uh, oh, that's great. A book with that much passion should help Doc. Could you tell this amazing Doc something for me? If he ever has any questions, come talk to me. Maybe someday I'll even visit him while I'm in Ulzebek. Got it. Right. We'll tell him. Thanks. We've got the book. Let's take it back to Doc. She really is an amazing librarian. A bit unique, though. I think people like Doc who seek knowledge are inspiring. I've got to do my best to help people like him. Let me know if you ever need anything, too. Tell me what to do, man. do 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 Finally made it. How you doing? We found a book for you, Doc. Apparently, it's full of details about medicinal herbs. Oh, amazing. All these illustrations are a big help. I'll be able to grow so much more with this. Great to hear. That makes all the searching worthwhile. The owner said if there's anything you need to know, just contact the palace in Vicent, and she'll respond. How considerate. You really went out of your way for me on this one, huh? <laughs> I feel busier now than when everyone called you a hero, Alfin. <laughs> you may be right. But now Doc's Herb Garden will succeed, and a lot of people will get help. I can't disagree with that. As I'm sure you already know, that's just how he is. You can give up on ever trying to change him. Oh, I gave up long ago. 
It's part of what makes him Alfin. You guys are gonna make me blush. Uh, enough of this. Let's get what we came for and get going. Sure. Here you go. Feel free to come back anytime. So Dale Arthalus. A sword that was given to the Chosen Sovereign. The power is wielded to open up the path of neither the hero nor the sovereign. Okay. And Gom Arthalus. Ceremonial garb that was given to the Chosen Sovereign. It is now worn as a symbol of his determination to live as himself. Bright Angelica. A platinum rifle fitted with beautiful azure ornaments. The field of vision in inside the sides can be adjusted to its to fit its individual wielder. And Laze Feroquis. Ceremonial garb that was given to the Chosen Maiden. A nostalgic and gentle power enwraps her now that she is free. Even I'm not here. Oh, 2,800 gold, 720 SP. Good times. I must say, I'm impressed with the old man's keen insight. I know, right? I've always known him as a dependable person, but Doc still surprises me every time I see him. He's always looking at the big picture and how his actions can help others. I think it's really admirable. I agree. But, you know, those same things apply to you, Alfin. You should be proud of yourself as well. Thanks, Shion. If Doc ever does end up meeting the librarian, though, he might be in for a bit of a surprise. <laughs> That's for sure. She certainly is somewhat unique. Who knows? They might end up getting along. Hmm. They do seem to share a similar passion for knowledge. Perhaps they could spend some meaningful time with one another. Anyway, I'm glad the Sovereign and Maiden outfits are back in our hands. Me too. Now we can wear them whenever we want. Yeah! You should wear them every day to make all the trouble we went through worthwhile. The whole point of owning clothes you like is having the freedom to wear what you want when you want to. It's no fun if you feel obligated to wear something. That's right. You shouldn't need a reason to dress up. You should just dress for yourself, because it's something you want to do. I'm surprised. There you go. It's rare for us to have the same opinions on clothing. Maybe you're finally starting to understand fashion. Well, I did have a good teacher. <laughs> hey, my. You two have gotten close. Looking back on our travels, Alfin, it occurs to me that you volunteered to help countless people by performing relatively menial tasks. Maybe instead of a hero, they should call you a handyman. That title probably suits me better than Sovereign or Blazing Sword. Alfin, the handyman. Nah, sorry. That's lame. <laughs> That's just the kind of guy Alfin is. You may as well give up. I'm sure you already know this, though. Uh-huh. So we got a new equipment. So Dale Arthalus. Definitely not as good as what we've got, but I digress. Same with that. Same with your dealio. I'm not sure if they're actual like costumes. Oh, they are. It's a cave. Da, 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 da. Okay, Baraquis. So that's kind of a thing. Alright, looks like Alfin has one more. I hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Since, Hopefully it's nothing since like you know, each character has two of them, I believe. Apparently those mask incidents are happening everywhere. The Crimson Crows are all mobilized to deal with them. I wonder if they're considered major incidents. 
So you want me to gather those mask guys and keep an eye on them? Thanks, that helped a lot. A few members of the Crimson Crows were masked as well, and were short-handed. You don't want to be short-handed, you know, it's just bad. My friend was masked by one of those guys. What am I supposed to do? Uh, I'm kind of stuck. Man, those masked people are a real pain. It, it already feels like they're testing us. We'll keep things under control here somehow. Don't worry about us. Go. Mm -hmm. We still have plenty to do, but first we need to do something about the immediate problem. It sucks that we can't just punch our way through that like we do with Zoogles. Throwing punches style. Come on, just a little. Why you? Not gonna happen. Everyone's in the same boat. <laughs> Fine, lousy cheapskate. What did you just say? After all we've done for you. Hey. Cut it out. W w what's going on here? Oh, it's you. Perfect timing. Let's ask the Blazing Sword, shall we? Suits me just fine. I'm not going to complain like John about whatever the Blazing Sword decides. Now wait a sec. Hmm. This kid is trying to get materials to repair his house. But there's a waiting list. Come on, I don't need much. I'm worked to the bone and just want a place to sleep after a hard day's work. What's wrong with that? Y you think you're the only one? Materials are distributed after performing thorough investigations into necessity. We can't make exceptions for everyone. Ugh. Well, I suppose that's true, but... Damn right it is. See, the Blazing Sword is on my side. No, all I'm saying is... Then give me some that are going to Moscow. That shouldn't be a problem, right? Moscow? The material meant for the Renans. Eh. I suppose there may be some flexibility there. <laughs> they put us through hell for so long, they can hardly complain like John if we do to them what they did to us. Now wait just a minute. Huh? What? You have a problem with that? You, the one who pummeled the Renans? Yeah, just wave that sword of yours around and they'll fall in line. Ugh. I only wanted to end their tyranny. I'm not out for revenge. What? That's what you say, but... I know how you feel. But with that kind of thinking, the fighting will never end. You've got to understand. You can't inflict the same pain you've suffered unto others. I've got no intention of disobeying you. Yeah, it's not like we can stand up to the Renans without you anyway. That's not what I'm saying. No, I will be your shadow. I'm not getting through. It's not about what the Blazing Sword says. You didn't drop Zephyr's name. I can't play that card forever. I do understand how both of them feel. It's just that... Name-dropping style. It's important to explain yourself using your own words. But it's just as important to rest when you need to. Let's call it a day. Yeah, alright. Day style. Rest at the inn in Uzabeki. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. How you doing? You look thoroughly beat. Care to take a rest? Indeed. Rest style. <laughs> What's this? What the hell? Look at you. What the? It's you! Weak as always. You make me sick. Bull run. 
but you're dead. Dead man walking. Oh? Then how am I here before you now? It's a dream. I'm just dreaming. Is that what you think? Allow me to enlighten you. I know the truth of this world. Friendship, trust, all that you believe in is fragile and fleeting. Stop. Those you seek to save are selfish and uncaring. You know it to be true. The only way to unify them... Stop! ...is through fear. Fight it out. He's in level 100, kind of like me. Because it's the truth. The only thing that can unite the feeble maggots of this world is one of taking soul, like you did. Damn, that hurt. <laughs> that just rip, ripped him apart. <laughs> What's the matter? No words to disagree? Who am I to disagree? Are you so afraid to admit the truth that power and fear will always win over faith and honor? Or will it take the pain of the whip to open your eyes? Whip smack. Maybe. It's true that I don't know the pain of the whip. I couldn't feel pain when they struck me after all. And I understand what you're saying. People can be selfish. That much I can't deny. They hide their true intentions to get what they want. I've seen it countless times. Even so, I choose a path free of oppression. So a refusal, then. At the very least, you have no choice but to use force if you wish to destroy me. Do I? Maybe you can be defeated with force. But that would make me no better than you. If you utilize fear to rise above others, You'll only live in fear of when you yourself will fall. It's another form of oppression. Hmm. You aren't Volron. You're a shadow born from my doubts. Even if that's true, I still have the power to engulf you in darkness. What will you do if not destroy me? If you were born from me, then that means you're a part of me. I'll accept that and keep on living. Hmm. <laughs> Taking the weak route, are we? Go on then. But stay vigilant, or the night may come when this shadow consumes you. I'm used to your threats, but I'll heed your warning all the same. Style. Good morning. <sighs> So many people are play playing Monster Hunter World all of a sudden. What's up with that? Didn't get enough sleep? No, it's not that. Then what? I think I had a strange dream. Oh? About what? I don't remember exactly, but I think it was important. Well, whatever it was, you seem less tired than you were yesterday. Now that you mention it, I do feel like a load has been lifted. You said load. <laughs> Good. Now let's get moving. We still have a lot to do. Yeah. I'm not giving up. I was the individual go clear 12 character subquests. Fun. We completed all the subquesticles. We are so cool. Burning essence. A, a, a testicle proving that Alfin has completely mastered his trades and surpassed his previous limits. I think it's safe to rest here now. One's own master. Bader. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. The world in front of me, I guess. Nothing has really changed, but somehow it feels like I'm looking at something new. Even the stars are brighter. It's like a wall that was always there is gone now. It's hard to describe. Maybe your breakthrough has let you see things differently. You think so? <laughs> yeah. 
You might be right. Maybe I was scared. That people would be disappointed in you? Yes. But then I was thinking, do you remember the last thing Volron said to me? If you choose to walk that path, you choose that path. You choose a path of betrayal, despair, and corruption. I remember. If I kept trying to play the hero everyone wanted me to be, I may have ended up just like he said. Of course, I know this won't solve all my problems. I'm sure there will still be times when I face betrayal or despair. But I can accept that if it's the result of my own choices. As long as I make my own decisions, I will be the master of my own fate. It's strange how a simple change in one's mindset can make such a big difference. It's not like I'm doing anything differently. You freed yourself. It's been a while. But you finally look like yourself again, Alfin. Thanks. Thank you, Xion. Everybody's happy.